they did as he intended. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. Jesus wants to be Lord of your life. I said there's only one person that can do it all the way. You know who that is? Jesus Christ. And above all else, we know this. In America, we don't worship government. We worship God. You can do all you want, but you know, you still need help from the boss. You need help from the boss. Somebody said to me the other day, you're the most famous person in the world by far. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They said, yes, you are. I said, no. They said, who's more famous? I said, Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you that America didn't need a preacher in the Oval Office. It did not need a professional politician in the Oval Office, but it needed a fighter and a champion for freedom. And Lord, that's exactly what we have. We pray this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who came and died and rose again. Christians, with the election coming up, you must watch this until the end. Why are people trying to kill Trump? Yeah. Why are people not trying to kill Kamala? Can you not see what's happening here? Yeah. I go to places and people are like, well, I just, I just don't believe that we should be political. This is not about politics. This is about the Bible. This is about the truth of God's word. This is God or it's not God. If it's not God, then why would you side with it in anything that you say or do? Why would you side with the demonic strategy to kill babies? Why would you vote? for someone to kill kids? Why would you vote for somebody to teach our kids that they're boys or girls and when, when they're really, why would we vote for that to be okay? See, I'm willing to die for this, why? Because Jesus is king, he's Lord. Lord means leader, Lord means master. I just don't like, I don't like the attitude of the one and I don't like the views of the one. So what are you gonna do, stay neutral? Most of the church stays neutral. That's the reason why we're at where we're at. And this is time to come to truth. What do you really believe? If Christians don't vote, non-Christians are left voting. And do we really want that? Let me know your thoughts though and share this with somebody who needs to see it. No saved person can vote for any platform <clears throat> that promotes, I'll say it again, gay marriage, abortion, any legislation that endangers the nation of Israel. I, mean, I could go on and on. You say, wait a minute, Pastor. Wait a minute, Pastor. You're getting into politics. Have a seat if you would. You're getting into politics. No, here's politics. The border, gasoline prices, food prices. That's politics. Abortion is not politics. That's human life. Gay marriage is not politics. That's a violation of Holy Scripture. Transgender butchering is not politics. That's satanic efforts to skew the image of God in precious children. Don't call yourself a believer and vote for candidates and a party that endorses everything that is anti-God, anti-Bible, and anti-Christianity. Can't do it. You can't say, I love Jesus. And then vote for people who believe in murdering the unborn, who believe in mutilating little girls whose minds are confused. You can't call yourself a spirit-filled believer and vote for a candidate or a party that believes in putting drag queens in our school. Come on, church. Come on, church. Be the church. Be the church. Our country needs a savior right now, and our country has a savior. And that's not me. That's somebody much higher up than me. Much higher up. We just do what we have to do. 
But the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ forever changed the world. It's impossible to think of the life of our own country without the influence of his example and of his teachings. Our miraculous founding, overcoming civil war, abolishing slavery, defeating communism and fascism, reaching boundless heights of science and discovery, so many incredible things, even right outside the magnificent skyscrapers and the whole development that this beautiful church is a part of. So different, so beautiful, however, so beautiful. And uh, the United States ultimately becoming a truly great nation, and we're going to keep it that way. We're going to keep it that way. We're not going to let it go. We're not going to let it go. But none of this could have ever happened without Jesus Christ and his followers and his church. None of it. And we have to remember that Jesus Christ is the ultimate source of our strength and of our hope, and here and everywhere and for all time, Jesus Christ. And we want to just thank everybody who believes because we're believing in our country. We're believing in the world. We're believing in life. This Christmas, let us pray for the hundreds of thousands of men and women serving in our nation's military. I'm so proud of what we were able to do for our military. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't care what president, what color he is. If you ain't in line with God, I can't stand with you. You're getting off with God because you're trying to stand with black. I can't vote for a party that is for all kind of sexual perversions. I can't do it. I can't go with a party that says you can be a boy today and a girl tomorrow. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't support a party that wants to remove God from its party platform. You in trouble when the nation forgets God. Y'all got to make a decision. I got to be with my color. I got to stand with my color, meaning I'll reject Christ. Color going to get you in trouble. It's either God or the devil. But when you vote for people with these convictions and they get in office and they start doing these things, you got a responsibility for it. You can't separate your politics from your biblical worldview. It's my biblical worldview that determines my politics. You vote for whoever you want, but you're going to have to stand before God. Jesus Christ is Lord. You're at the wrong rally. <laughs> That's literally what happened. At one of her rallies, somebody screamed out, Jesus Christ is Lord. And she said, you're at the wrong rally. To which the audience erupted in thunderous applause and roar. Because their convention is one where God does not exist. Evidently, I don't know. And if he does, he probably has horns. Because it's not the one true Yeshua, God the Most High, Yahuwa. No, not to them. Because evidently we're at the wrong rally. And for all those that want to say that both sides are the same... Both sides go from the same thing. There's only one side that affirms that Christ is Lord. There's only one speaking the truth of Christ. There's only one that acknowledges. Demons cannot acknowledge that Christ is Lord. Albeit Satan can. It's filth to them. But to these people, they cringe. Her predecessor straight stood on the podium when someone said that and looked like he was going to burn up, melt up, and fly away. And you're telling me that they're all the same? I'm not the same. I know whose side I fight with. I'm on the side of life. I'm on the side of right. I'm on the side of justice. I'm on the side of God. I'm not like them. I'm not all coupled up. How dare you say both sides are the same? I'm not the same. Many of my brothers and sisters are not the same. And we're at a point where we're done, fed up, and out of here with all this filth. You want to tell our kids, our generation, and our people that we have to go and absorb all this. To inject it, inhale it, and take all this filth in like it's ours. It's not. 
remove our freedom of speech. Then you want to say the other side's going for all your freedom, all your policies, all your stuff. Meanwhile, you're the one approving things right now. TikTok, this is an original video commentary by myself for entertainment purposes only. Allegedly, I don't know what I'm talking about on this. Because some platforms are really free and other platforms claim to be free as long as you say what they want. Right, TikTok? Right? I don't know what I'm talking about. The audacity, the audacity to gaslight 52% of us on the voting block and 95% of us that see this. And I scroll through the comments sections. Whoa, man, this is looking bad. I might believe it. I might not believe it. That's the very problem. That you still see it and don't believe. That you're, you're so filled and drunk off of ignorance that you allow all this evil to continue to just scream out. You're at the wrong rally. No, you're on the wrong planet. Christ is Lord. Yeshua is King. Lord of Lord, host of host. Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahuwah. Every knee will bow. Every knee will bow. Doesn't matter if she doesn't want to acknowledge it. Everyone will. Christ is Lord. I'd like to ask the Vice President, what has she done to question my loyalty to this country? I served in the United States Marine Corps. I went to Iraq for this country. I built a business for this country. And my running mate took a bullet for this country. So my question to Kamala Harris is, what the have you done to question our loyalty to the United States of America?